Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the same question. Okay, let's take a look at the same question. So the question says, uh, find the range of values of k given that the straight line y equals to k x. So y equals to x minus k, which cuts the curve, which cuts the curve uh, y equals to kx squared plus 9x at two distinct points. Okay, so in fact, I can easily change this question. I can easily change this question to what? I can easily change this question to one distinct point. Okay. I can easily change this question to one distinct point. And how this will affect, how this will affect your solution. Okay. So, if you remember, if you remember, if a line cuts the curve at one distinct point, our discriminant is equal to zero. Okay. And you know that discriminant is actually equal to b squared minus 4ac. So equal to zero. Okay. And what you do is what you do is you combine. So this is your equation one, and then this is your equation two. And what you do is you sub your equation one, y equals to x minus k into two and what do you get you get x minus k equals to kx squared plus 9x okay and what you do is you need to get this thing into a quadratic equation form so quadratic equation form looks like this ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero okay so let me continue I will bring this entire thing, I will bring it to the right side. And what do I get? I get kx squared plus 9x minus x plus k. Okay? And then what do you get? If you simplify it, you get plus 8x and then plus k. And clearly, if you compare this to the quadratic equation general form, and you can clearly see what? You can clearly see a is equal to k and then b is equal to 8 and then c is equal to k am i right so what you do what you do you just match right you match accordingly c is equal to k right so once you do that so you have your a goes to k b goes to 8 and c goes to k and all you need to do is you need to sub it into the b squared minus 4 ac Okay, and you have 64, or rather, you don't simplify it first. You just write it down like this first. K squared is equal to zero. And what you end up with? So, yeah, you should always remember this. Okay, A squared minus B squared, and what you get? A plus B, A minus B, right? So, therefore, you get... 8 minus 2k and then what 8 plus 2k and then what do you get right so you get k equals to k equals to 4 or k equals to minus 4 and if you don't know how I get it if you don't know how I get it I get it by doing okay I get it by doing this Okay, I get it by doing this. I get it by doing eight minus two k equals to zero or eight plus two k equals to zero and this k gives me four and this gives me k equals to minus four. Okay? That's how I get k equals to four and k equals to minus four. If if the question is changed to the straight line cuts the curve at one distinct point. Okay, so I have demonstrated to you uh, what if the question is changed to the line cuts the curve at one distinct point, and which means our discriminant is equal to zero, and what you should do accordingly. Okay, 
So last but not least, let's look at the same question. Let's look at the same question. So once again, the same thing. This straight line, y y equals to. Okay, let me let me write it nicer. So this straight line cuts the curve. So I will say never cut. Okay, never. So what's the meaning of that? If this straight line never cuts this curve, it means there is no solution, right? So basically what it means is there is there is no intersection points or there's no roots or no solutions. Okay? They mean the same thing. Okay. Therefore, when no intersection point, no roots, no solution, discriminant is smaller than zero. Right? So you do the same thing. This is your equation one, and then this is your equation two. What you need to do is you sub in your one y goes to x minus k into your two. And then what do you get? You get x minus k equals to kx squared plus 9x. Okay? And once again you have to you have to express this you have to express this whole thing into a quadratic equation form. Okay, how do you do it? You move the you move the left hand side x x minus k to the other side. Okay. And once you have done that, and what you need to do is you simplify. Okay. And clearly you can see that your a is equals to your k, right? And then your b is your it. And last but not least, your C is K as well. So, what you do, you write down A equals to K, B equals to 8, and C equals to K. And sub it into your discriminant, B squared minus 4AC, smaller than 0. Okay? So you have 8 squared minus 4K squared. So this is inequality once again. And you do the factorization for this first, and you should always remember this. Okay, you should always remember a squared minus b squared is equal to bracket a plus b bracket a minus b. And therefore, if you have this 8 squared, 4k squared, so what you do is you change it to this one right so therefore you get this okay so therefore I come back to this so I get 8 minus 2k 8 plus 2k small than 0 okay so now so now I need more space okay let me erase this So to do inequality, what you do is you draw a number line and this means bigger than zero and this the portion below is smaller than zero. So in this case, first thing first, you need to decide what is the shape of the curve you are going to draw. So in this case, the coefficient of your k square is negative. So the coefficient of k square is negative, right? So therefore, it's a found face, right? And then, because of this factorization, you will get k is what? What is this? Is equals to four, and then this k is equals to negative four. So therefore, this point is your negative four. 
and this point is your 4 so since this is smaller than 0 I should shade the below part which is this okay and therefore this this area is is what this area is k smaller than negative 4 right while this area is k bigger than 4 and then that is the answer for if if the straight line never cuts the curve okay so I have demonstrated to you I have demonstrated to you um, with the same question but each question I change each question I change the the last statement okay I'll change this at two distinct point which is my case one and then one point which is my case two and then never cuts or rather zero point that will be my case three so I have demonstrated to you uh, three cases okay a line cuts the curve at two distinct point case one at one point case two zero point that means no point case two and how you can solve solve them accordingly okay so I hope you have had a very good understanding of discriminant and inequality okay so if you have further questions of course you can actually um, you can actually look for me okay you can actually look for me at uh, so by the way my name is Lu Yo Kang and then you can always contact me at plus six five which means Singapore okay this is a Singapore country code you can always contact me at this number okay or you can even email me you can, you can e even email okay, email me at hum b l e h o u s e at hotmail dot com okay so uh, these are the ways you can contact me or you can actually add my facebook and then this is my name on Facebook okay so I hope you have uh, had a good understanding of uh, discriminant and inequality and uh, yeah look forward to hearing from uh, you guys and thank you very much and bye